Apollo core. This whole area contains Apollo supportive systems with the AI core itself at the center. Apollo prevented Samuels from lifting the lockdown remotely, but once you're inside, he made sure he'll at least talk to you. Hello YouTube. I heard of another video. This one's a little bit different. And that you can get to keep your uh, shotgun by going past this. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Firearms detected. You've got to be shitting me. I'll bet. So we put them on here. The conveyor belt. You're gonna wanna run back. And this is a long process, but it does help in the long run. So what you want to do is run back over here. Just wait for the elevator. <coughs> it's very time consuming, but you'll be able to get the shotgun. And um, be able to get past those androids down there a little bit easier. I mean, you can still do it without it, but you know, for those people who need help and our low on supplies are playing on like a nightmare mode or hard difficulty, this really does help. So I'm going to show you the path, the way you have to go, in order to um, get the shotgun. I believe this is just a glitch. I mean, I think it always spawns there when you leave the area and then come back. That's how I believe, that's what I believe happens. Okay, so first, once you come out this elevator, you're going to see like an elevator to your right. You're just going to want to enter that elevator. If you guys have any um, ideas or things you want to see on any of the DLCs or in game, you can just let me know. Whoever may be watching. Okay. Now we're on the other side of the Apollo uh, core in the uh, habitation. No, not habitation. This is. Uh, I can't remember what tower this is. This is the one with the hospital and the synthetic. Oh, there's synthetics. Yeah. So you want to come up here. It's okay to run, by the way. I mean, there's going to be like some androids, and maybe you might see a person, but. For the most part, you should be safe. Oh, I'm stupid today, apparently. I'm looking the wrong way. So you want to take this, uh, what is this, like a... What is it, a cart, Charlie, or something like that? And then you want to go down the ladder directly to the left of you. Okay. And don't be afraid to just hurry up, Ripley. Okay. Shoot. Uh, I remember how to run. There we go. Is this how you run? I haven't played game in a while. I believe it was X to run, right? Not what I just did. Oh, it is. Oh, there's two ways to run. Okay, that's cool. I know that. So you come through here, take us over down to the side med uh, transit. Okay, you, you have to go to the um, space flight terminal, and be and to be able to go there, you have to um, you have to go through the uh, what's it habitational tower to be able to get there. So it is a quite a trip, All right? A second of combat can this. The sound of combat, sorry, can assume the alien. Attract it at your own risk. <clears throat> Half little tips of the day. 
Alright, so you just want to come this way. And just full out sprint your way to the actual transit station. Hopefully there's no androids in the way. I hope I can just do this smoothly and just get the shotgun and be out. That'll be perfect. So the Solomon's habitation tower is already at the go. So it's gonna be directly the first one you see when you come out. The staircase is gonna be bam in your face like that. Alright. I'll probably make another video showing me actually using the shotgun while in the uh, central core. Probably I'll do that. I'm also recording, if you didn't know, off the PlayStation, so the longer I could um, film for apparently it was 15 minutes, so I'm probably just going to make another video. I'm just going to get the shotgun and then just warp my way back to where it was. And then show you how it is. How it can benefit you. Alright. No androids. I get scared. This is probably the scariest part in the game for me, at least. Cause it's just a big open like mall. There's not much going on, and it's creepy when the alien is here too, cause like nowhere to hide, and it's like very open, so he can see you. She can see you very easily. So yeah, just run through here up these stairs. This might look familiar. So if you know what I'm talking about, then there it goes. Just will run down this way as loud as possible. And then you want to go in this elevator the same way you came through from before. And as you can see, I'll show you when we get up to the next floor. And I don't have any weapons, so... The shotgun. I'm gonna be added to my inventory again. I don't know if the the bullets duplicate at the end when you get your shotgun back. I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. So yeah, I have no weapons really. I should probably guess stun baton. I know there is um, what you call it, androids here. Well, androids could spawn. Nothing on my beeper or tracker. So you want to come through this door? Last time I came here, there was some androids, and the shotgun is gonna be directly in the same place as it was before. There it is. And there's an android in here. There's no noise or sound to it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, you get the shotgun. Pretty cool. And you can um, just make your way back to where you were before in order to use it. I'm just gonna test on this thing right here. 
There you go. I know there's usually two to those traveling groups. But they're not. Wow. So yeah, that's how they get the uh, shotgun. I mean, if you sh all you gotta do is walk all the way back, and you'd be able to have it. But pretty good. So I'm gonna make another video on that, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this is helpful to some people too. And watch the next video, I guess. Bye.